Hello everybody and welcome to some more Kingdom Hearts. We are here to complete uh, at least two of the uh, secret bosses. And this is something I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. The first one we're going to be doing is probably the easiest, or at least the easiest one to really do. Takes not as long as the others, I'm going to say that for sure. But it's still going to be pretty difficult. And the first one will be in Agraba. It's pretty nice to come back here, even though it's only for a split moment and it doesn't really matter all that much anyways, because we're not really going anywhere specific, because we need to just be in Aladdin's house, really. Okay, oop. Alrighty, um, so I have, uh, high potions on me, down is mostly potions, and, we, yeah, we have a bunch of high potions, because we're gonna need it. Uh, one thing I should do before I forget is put Gravaga, Eroga, and Kiriga, definitely all the ones you want here. It will make the fight so much, uh, so much easier, I'd say. So we shall ride on the carpet, the carpet, the carpet of flying stuff. Don't know why that's a thing in the movie, it's kind of weird, but... You know what? Hey, it gives it a little, uh, randomness. Much like running into this guy. Oh, jeebus. This is gonna be interesting. Now, I know I can beat him. Oh, okay. Put Aroga on as quickly as possible, because at this point, you can't use magic when he seals it. And that's the gimmick of this guy. Half the time, you can't hit him with uh, any magic, and the other half, you can't hit him with any physical. So you definitely need to have both, a good amount of both, just to be able to take care of this guy. But he's not too hard, but there are good ways of uh, handling him, I'll definitely say that. And remember, Tinkerbell is your friend. I don't know if I'm particularly going to be using her, but if you need to, you most definitely can. And in fact, I would quite recommend it. Ooh. Hopefully I don't get uh, stuck on there. There we go. We're doing a good amount of damage against this guy. Of course, I am using a lot of magic. Which is okay, because look at how much Goofy has. Alright, this is where you want to use Gravga. It definitely does the most damage, as you can see. Probably need to do two more. And if you physically hit him, you get these MP balls. Or if you use magic, that happens as well. Uh, this guy's named uh, Kurt Ziza. And I believe there was a... Uh, like a survey or... Something like that. Where uh, a guy named Kurt Ziza won. He won like a contest and he got his name in this game. Which would be super dope. I wish I had that. That'd be awesome, dude. Be like, let's play in a game with my own name in it. That'd be wonderful. Alright, I don't want to use too much man. Oh, that was always okay. No, that sucks. Uh oh, that's bad. Thank you, Goofy. Alright, so let's get that on. Um, eh, let's just use regular potion. We'll be fine. Uh, I probably should have used. Oh, jeez. Tinkerbell there, but. Ah, dang it. Oh. The horizontal sl uh, slashes you can dodge just by jumping, but the... Generally. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm very good at it, but... Ugh. The vertical ones I find to be a lot more difficult. Ah. Dang it. Ugh. You're supposed to, like, dodge roll at a certain time? I'm not very good at it. I'm never really able to get the timing down, which is why you want Aroga. Come on, just hit it a few more times. Okay. Now if we can get this one down, we can then we got him. A lot easier said than done though. Oh, Combo Master is your friend. No matter what, it will always be your friend. Almost as much as Mr. Rogers. Ah. What if Mr. Rogers ever played video games? That would have been interesting, you know. I'm gonna use a high potion here. There we go. Oh, it's like one more hit, dude. There we go. 
Alright, so even if I don't take him down here, he still has one more form before he can do those slashes again, so we'll be okay. Ah, oh, go figure. I didn't do nearly so much damage as I would have liked. I'll be honest with you. Alright, this... This can be bad. I would prefer to have Aroga on, actually, to be perfectly honest with you. There we go. Just to be safe. Just to be extra safe. It's too bad you can't really put him in a corner. But this is why I have Donald here, because look how much damage he's done on his own. Granted, I did do a little bit with, uh, with Gravaga, but still. Donald definitely helps here quite a bit. Although it is a little bit less controlled when he gets uh, his shield broken. But I don't particularly mind that too much, personally. Uh, we're looking pretty good now. Oh dang it. Oh, I hate when I miss like that, dude. Such a bummer. Come on, just a few more times. There we go. Woo, we got him. Wow, that was close. That could have that could have been terrible. Because if I had to go through another one of those horizontal and vertical slashes, that would have been terrible. But we got him. And this is precisely why I have Down and Goofy for this fight, and not Aladdin. Aladdin, yeah, he can probably do more damage overall than Goofy, maybe? But Goofy just has MP Gift, and that's a godsend here. It really, really is. And we get Xantus Sugan for it. Don't know if I'm saying that particularly correct, but that's okay. I don't mind. Now, Zantazugan is a very interesting ability. Let's see how much it costs. I believe it costs two. It costs... I can find it. Yeah, two. Okay, so what... I can get rid of that. I don't think I particularly need that. 30% chance of unleashing a finishing combo attack that can destroy a weaker enemy. Uh, at this point, because of how strong I am, it's not particularly important. But it still does decent damage overall. So I think I'm actually gonna I'm gonna keep it on. I usually do. Besides, it looks pretty damn sick, you have to admit. Of course if you've never seen it, then you will. It's it's pretty sick looking. It's pretty beast. But that's not really too important as of right now, because the next one we are going to do, we probably won't see it very much. Or at all. Because I won't be able to do any ground combos. Of course, that'll make a little bit more sense later on. And we are at the Colosseum Gates. This is going to be an interesting one for sure. I'm a little bit nervous for this one because the last time I tried to do this, it made me rage quit. But that was, you know, different settings as well. In terms of like me and how I felt and everything, so... But we should be okay. Um, I'm gonna put Fire Gun on. It's not particularly important, but, you know. Oh yeah, so you can examine this and get an Orichalcum. Or you can slash a bunch of times. Boom! Uh, that is Xantazugan. It looks pretty beast. I think so, anyways. But, nonetheless, um, I put Fire Gun on, not particularly for this fight, but actually for the next episode. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it, really. So we're going to be going to the question marks of doom and find out what we can do here. Which is hopefully something. Uh oh. Oh shit. Now this is going to be fun. As you can see, what you want to have here is guard. 
Guard is going to be required for this fight. And I also didn't do something I probably should have. Oops, I forgot. Uh, well, there's an item that was literally right here that I could have and should have gotten. But, uh, because it increases my MP by 2, but it also lowers any ice damage by 40%. Would have been pretty, uh, pretty nice here, not gonna lie. As nice as that would have been, I don't think I really need it. I think I'll be okay. Ow. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, see how much uh, Kirika heals by? Not a lot. So... That's... To be honest, it seems like High Potion actually heals more. Which is kind of weird. But, you know, whatever. So, the brunt and the most of your damage is going to be done by guarding and having the Icicles hit him back. But when he gets, uh, you know, days like that, you can just smack him a few times. Oh. If you hit it at the right time, you just continue to mash the guard button and be fine. Ow. Wow, I completely missed that. It'd be good to have a weapon that has uh, difficulty deflect capabilities. Especially for those, uh... Those little, I don't know, snowballs, I guess. Oh man, get up, Sora! Ugh, I am not the best at guarding, as you can see. But I try. There we go. I might as well use all the high potions I have. We're gonna get a lot of uh, experience here, though. That's what I'm looking forward to. Dang it, man. Sometimes it's just plain hard to see, too. And that's a little bit of an issue I have. Alright. Alright, come on now. There we go. This is perfect. I don't want to go away from this. Oh, I have to. What the hell? That was weird. Oh, man. Oh, okay. There we go. No matter all that much. But, hey, whatever. Uh, the reason I'm not using Aeroga is because if you do, then those icicles become a lot bigger and they can't be deflected. So it'd be a waste of time. Ah. Oh man, I missed a great opportunity there. That's a shame. Ooh, ooh, whoa, careful now. Careful. There we go, I hit the good one against him. I'll take that. This fight is definitely a lot more difficult than it was in uh, Kingdom, War Kingdom Hearts 1 for the PlayStation 2. A lot more difficult, I find. I'm not really sure why. I don't know if he just does more damage or if he takes less damage. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Could just be me. There we go. Right here is like a perfect position, I think. Ah. It tricks you, man, into not blocking the good part. No. Oh, that was a great one that I missed right there, dude. There we go. Fudge! Ah, uh, I hate you so much. Damn it, dude. I don't know why I'm not able to dodge that as well as I should be able to. There we go. I really mashed the triangle button to have down the goofy attack him. Wow. 
As you can see, you can't really hit him very much now. Ooh, defense up and critical plus. I'll take that. Aye. Oh, if you stay in the corner there, you should be okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't want to die here. Mm, I like, I block it, and then I can't get myself to move fast enough. Oh wow, I'm kind of surprised there. Hey, I'll take it. Oh, I just hit him enough times to get one extra heal. Woo! Okay. Heal, please. Thank you. Heal one more time. Alright, he's almost done, though. He's almost done. We got him. He was gonna do that. Ugh, okay. I should get him. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that is a difficult fight. A lot more difficult than I remember. Not. It didn't take nearly as long as uh. For Ziza though, that's kind of interesting to to think about. But uh not as fun either. Kurtziza is a more more fun fight for me. But hey, we got him. And I'm happy about that. Whew. That was that was pretty scary, not gonna lie. Ugh. <sighs> now we're the tall ones. <laughs> okay. It's kinda weird there. But hey, whatever. And we get diamond dust for that. Uh, secret Keyblade that was not in the PlayStation 2 version because this was only in the Final Mix version. Diamond dust is a very interesting weapon to say the least. Greatly enhances magic and summon power, but it has the strength of 3. It's the same strength as the Kingdom Key, but you get 3 MP. It'd be kind of cool to like start off with Diamond Dust if you like hack to the game and like start off with that instead of Kingdom Key. And then you had the choice of, well, do I want more strength or three more MP and all that stuff. Anyways, that probably won't happen for a while, if ever, for me. <laughs> but, you probably just heard my chair just pop. That was weird. So yeah, um, I did plan on using this specific Keyblade for the next fight. But I have Ultima Weapon, and that's going to be just fine, I think. But, anyways, uh, what we're gonna do is, oops, we're gonna go to the next fight. But we're not actually gonna fight that new, uh, secret boss just yet. I will save that for the next episode. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna hit Blizga on all of these things. Because this is specifically what you need to do to get the special item that would have saved my butt and kept me from having to use almost every single healing capability that I had. Bam. There we go. Oh, no, there's... Ah. Sloth B. There we go, that hit him. And the last one right over here. Hit that weight over here, and we get the one and only most amazing Shiva built. Which I probably I would have put on right here, but oh well. Now, being that it is, it's pretty useful, but I don't think I have any specific place for it. I'd rather have that three strength and three defense. The 3 HP is negligible, it doesn't really matter that much, but 3 strength and 3 defense. More so the 3 defense more than anything is the most important at this point. Because I mean, our strength is high enough to where it doesn't really matter how much more strength we get, because we kind of just wreck everything in 1-2 to two hits anyways. 
Unless it's a secret, uh, heartless, like a stealth snake, for example. That one takes more damage, obviously. But we are going to go to the cabin. And what I'm going to do is off screen, I'm going to prepare myself and get everything that I want for the fight. And then I'm going to show off what I have and then we're just going to go right on to it. And I'm not really looking forward to this fight because it is easily the most difficult fight in the game. The most annoying and the most just plain old freaking stupid. But I implore that you check it out tomorrow for the next episode and watch me hate myself. Because, trust me, it's going to be hilarious how much I cry. But, hey, until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.